Hello, welcome back here to ABA with Dr. D. This is Dr. D, and here we are in our YouTube series of React videos. Today we have a really funny one, actually. Well, kind of funny. It's it's one of those behaviors where you, you know we see a child really trying hard to uh, get a reaction or gain some type of attention from parents, which tends to happen a lot, right? We when we see, and that's not just for any a child with you know autism, but in general, just you know with people, right? Uh, you know we we love attention, so we will do whatever it takes to get that attention. So in this particular situation, this child tries really hard. So I really want you all to like if you doing this for training purposes, uh, why don't we get out a piece of paper, pencil or pen, and why don't we start documenting here some ABC data? Why don't we put in some antecedent behavior and consequence on your document? And let's figure out what this, uh, you know, what those are. Okay, so let's let's uh, let's go through the video and we can kind of break it down afterwards. Okay. okay so it's already on the ground. Okay, so here it comes. Ooh. All right, I think that's where the video is about to end. So what do you guys think? Like, you know, what do you think is antecedent? What is the behavior? What is the consequence? I really wish I would have had more context, by the way, like, you know, as to like, you know, what ha what happened prior to all this happening. But for sure, we can get some ideas here, some, some you know, hypothetical, like, you know, uh, possibilities here as to why the behaviors occur in the first place. I can already tell you that there, there's more than likely a high, probably there's a high, you know, long history of reinforcement from the person recording this video. You know reinforcing this particular behavior right which tends to happen okay so at least from our pers perspective obviously i think that the you know i said attention i, I think there's a high probability that it is attention obviously like you know if i was to like run an fa a functional analysis i would have confirmed that function but here in a way we are kind of seeing that you know as soon as a child you know uh, attention is removed he walks back in there he goes on the ground again and starts engaging in the crying the whining and then as soon as the camera or you know the person moves away, child comes back again, and you know they do the same behavior. So once again, it seems to be pretty much uh, you know whatever that person's in you know, that that reaction, whatever they're doing is for sure reinforcing that behavior for it to continue occurring, occurring, or has you know been reinforced in the past. But to me, that's what it is. I mean, I I don't know what you guys think. Uh, why don't we watch it one more time? And why don't we count how many times he goes on the ground? I want to I want to actually keep track of that. Uh, I'm interested to see how many actual small instances we see of that particular behavior. So here we go. Okay. So he's already there on the ground. Okay, he's gonna come now in. Okay, boom. That's I'll count that as one. Okay. Okay, look, he's child looking. Kind of stays frozen there for us. Two. Okay, that's two instances there. So attention removed or person goes away and and boom three okay so I counted three instances there of him going on the ground flopping to the ground so yeah I mean I think for sure like just looking at this 
you know, video, um, you know, also reminds me about like how difficult if you're going to do a plant ignoring procedure, an extinction procedure, it's not easy, right? I don't think a lot of times when, you know, people recommend for, you know, just to ignore behavior is not easy. So that's why we talked about the, some of the, the side effects of, of you know, uh, uh, I guess doing plant ignoring this scenario, we do see, you know, pretty intense behaviors, intensity goes up. So I think it's one of those things we want to make sure. And we always recommend that if you are going to implement an extinction procedure that you are really ready for it. Okay. Because in this particular scenario, like obviously, you know, there's some plan ignoring going on here that there's no, um, you know, there's no reinforce. There's no like, you know, verbal like attention being provided. Obviously the presence itself, I would say it's still like, that's still attention, right? Because the, the, the physical presence of the person's there by default, right? You can't leave a child, you know, unattended, especially a young child like this. So it's going to be that level of attention there. But yeah, there's a lot of things going on here. I mean, if I, I think this is a great video for, for training purposes. We see these kind of scenarios play out sometimes in, in, in the field. And there's one of those things where for sure as a clinician, I'm, I'm you know, for me, I'm, I'm there documenting my ABC data. I'm, I'm evaluating the reaction around the environment. Uh, so there's a lot of things that you can do with this particular, uh, you know, video to really, you know, use that as more training purposes. But above all, you know, it's really interesting once again to, there's a lot more videos out there that we're gonna be able to review together. This was very, very popular one actually. I've seen this one in trainings before where you can actually assess, they say attention seeking, and I think there is a high probability for that, but I'm not sure what you guys think. You know, are there any other functions that you guys can, can figure out here that you guys can, can identify? And I'm also curious to see whether you guys can share your ABC data on the comment section there to see, you know, what you guys think were the uh, antecedent behavior consequence. So uh, another cool video to share with you guys and to talk about together. I really appreciate once again the support. Y'all take care of yourself. Bye.